Tierra. How you doing? I can tell things ain't looking too good for you. Yeah, I got the email, but when you said <laughs> you wanted to do a FaceTime call, I said to myself, man, where is this girl at? Well, <laughs> she don't want me to come down there and see her. And then I looked at the bottom. It said Dubai. And I said, oh, <laughs> she must done got over there and done, done something she wasn't supposed to do. Did nobody tell you that? Did nobody tell you about the laws over there in Dubai? <laughs> yeah, if you put ketchup on your hot dog, they gonna lock you up. <laughs> they only want you to eat mustard over there. Somebody should have warned you. I want to ask you a question. <laughs> what the hell are you doing in Dubai? You say you was over there turning up. <laughs> that was a hell of a turn up you got. Yeah, I seen the attachment. Yeah, I'm real cool with the embassy. My uncle works over there at the embassy yeah, in Dubai. <laughs> Can I call him? Well, uh, tell me exactly what happened. Okay, you and your friend, y'all got in an accident, okay? Right, so you, <laughs> you went down there to, you know, retrieve your passport. Also, all your information was left in the car. I knew it. So you went back to the place, the rental car place, to try to retrieve all your documentation so you can get back home. <laughs> and what he tell you? <laughs> you say he jumped up and holla, 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 holla. <laughs> Boy, you know how they is all over there in Dubai. He jumped around a corner and like he was going to slap you. Ooh, what you do? Oh, my God. <laughs> you did not tell him that you knew Jay Prince. <laughs> I know for a fact <laughs> you ain't sit there and told that man that you know Jay Prince Sr. <laughs> and he don't play that. Boy, you remind me of Claude and Ray yeah, when they got caught down there after they had got accused of killing Winston Hancock. And they told him, that white boy, you heard of Spanker Johnson? Yeah, more than over there talking about, ooh, that's how you try to come at that man. Boy, Jay Prince ain't no powerful man. And Dubai, you sound like you sound crazy. So then, what happened? <laughs> he said, "Jay Prince, <laughs> I knew it." He, he said, "I don't give a fuck about no Jay Prince. I knew it." So what happened then? You try to show him a picture of Mike. <laughs> Michael, 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 who? Mike, I don't know no Mike. There's so many Mikes, Mike Tyson. What Mike you talking about? <laughs> oh my God. You say Mike Prince. What'd he say? <laughs> he looked at you and said, what? He said, he don't give a damn about no backwood dyke. <laughs> and then what happened?
You did not holler at them, man. Wait a minute. Don't you know in Dubai, don't you know you can't holler at no man over there and you're a woman? Do you not know that? You didn't even know that, did you? Hey, it's just like the Bible. Don't you know in the Bible, don't you know that they say there ain't no first lady? <laughs> your auntie a first lady. <laughs> well, them people that made your auntie a first lady, if there's a husband, <laughs> they might be going to hell. Why I say that? Because she can't be no first lady sitting up there next to the pastor. She got to sit down there with everybody else. No. <laughs> listen, listen. I really want you to understand that you done got yourself in a lot of trouble. <laughs> that man ain't mad because you hollered at him. <laughs> he got mad because you showed him a picture of that backwood. <laughs> That's what he really got mad at. I know I go ahead, cause I ain't gonna keep going back and forth with you. <laughs> you ain't in Houston and they names and they credentials don't mean shit over there in Dubai. Am I going to talk to him? <laughs> you know what? I was thinking about talking to him. But then when you told me that you told that man that you knew who that Jermaine Jackson, Beijing 159, backward dyke uncle next to the cousin, you showed him them people picture. Now, how you think I'm going to be able to go down there and convince them people to let you out? Hey, I feel that right there, boy. <laughs> you said from the time you got there until the time you left, everybody was walking around saying, take off. They praised take off in Dubai. I knew there was my niggas over there. Well, I, hey, man, look, I mean, let me go home and think about this. I know you want to get out, but at the same time, take our mama. <laughs> she want her son back. So, <laughs> Nick Nick Padaway, give a dog a bone. They're described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domily Keith joining near downtown Houston with why she's being held, Domily. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. It, al it also could result in prison time. So it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. There are some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. 
It's very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29-year-old does now have an attorney there in Dubai, and her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Damali Keith, Fox 26 News. Yeah, this is Denny Soares. I just want to shout out Whispers, a.k.a. the governor, the real Jonathan Stewart. Listen. We got some funny skits coming about the Honey Bun Gang, so be on the lookout for that. And remember, Governor, keep it up.